All right, so let's learn how to calculate the value of a resistor using the color code. Now we'll be discussing only a four band resistor in this tutorial as this would suffice for this course. But be aware that there are resistors that have five and six bands available as well. Okay, so as you can see on your screen, uh, this is a resistor with four colored bands. This resistance has some value which you can measure using a multimeter as well but let's pretend for a moment that you don't have access to it and you want to find out the value of your resistor by interpreting the color bands alone okay fine so first of all we need to identify which one is the first band and which one is the last okay to figure this out is very simple actually see the biggest gap or largest distance between the two bands the largest distance between the two bands largest distance now this largest one is the fourth or the last one okay this band is the fourth and the rest are one two three which is easy just like this one two and three okay okay so now first understand a four band resistor color chart okay four band resistor color chart now this is a standard chart like a periodic table and can be found anywhere on the internet you just need to google four band resistor color chart as you can see in this chart all colors are given a particular number in a sequence starting with 0 1 2 3 and all the way to the 9 Now, there is a number for each color such as 0 for black, 1 for brown, 2 for red and so on, okay? If you look at the column of the table, second and third columns, second and third columns are same for each color, okay? Now, these columns represent first and second digit of your resistor's value. The third, di third digit is multiplier that is 10 raised to power the color number so for black is 10 raised to power 0 for brown is 10 raised to power 1 for red 10 raised to power 2 and so on right and the and the fourth digit is the tolerance or error now this fourth one uh, tells you the how much the value might differ plus or minus right so if you say the 220 ohms your value might be plus or minus 5% if the color is gold. If the color is silver, your value might be plus or minus 10%, just like that. Alright, so let's see how to calculate the value of this resistor using the colors. Now, our resistor reads red, red, brown and gold color, right? Red, red, brown and gold. Now the first band is red. Let's see the corresponding, the first band is red. So let's see the corresponding value for red color in our chart, okay? Let me open it. It's red. Uh, it's 2, right? So let me write it 2 and let me write it here. Similarly, for the second band, which also happens to be red, the corresponding value for this one is also 2. Right. Let's take a look at it. Let's let's write it here. Now the third band is actually a multiplier. Okay, the third band actually is a multiplier in brown, right? So let's see the value of it. It's ten is to power one, right? For brown. 10 raised to power 1. So let's multiply a value by 10 raised to power 1. And this gives us a value of 220 ohm. Now the fourth band is gold and it, it represents the error term. Okay. The so gold, the 5%. As you can see in the table, the tolerance for the gold is 5% which means the value for a resistor is plus or minus 5%. Okay. Now let's take a look at another example. This time our resistor reads 
brown black orange and gold the first band is brown the first band is one two three four the first band is brown right and the value for the brown is one oops so let me read down the value and value here one the second is black let me see the value for the black is zero right let me note down it here and the third one is orange which is a multiplier so see the multiplier for orange in my table is 1000 right or 10 is to power 3 right it's a multiplier 10 is to power 3 or 1000 right so the 10 into 10 is to power 3 becomes 10 kilo ohms now kilo means uh, 10 is to power 3 here so just be aware of that and the fourth band is for error we can ignore the fourth band here okay the fourth band just just ignore it is the error term all right so now let's do the reverse of what we did so far that is identify the appropriate resistor for a given value let's say you are asked to identify a resistor of 500 ohm without using a multimeter and only the color codes okay now this 500 <coughs> could also be written as 50 multiplied by 10 right isn't it 50 multiplied by 10 so the 5 here is our first digit and 0 is second the so 5 here is our first digit and and the, this 10 is the multiplier right is the first digit the second is the multiplier so this would be our third band now looking at the chart the first digit 5 gives you the color of green so let's let's have a look at our chart the 5 gives you the value of green right similarly the value of 0 for the second digit gives you color black right and the 10 raised to power 1 multiplier is brown right so that is it as you can see you don't need to do anything else now you can safely ignore ignore this um, the tolerance value right you can safely ignore it let's do it one more time okay so the value now is a little large one mega ohm now mega is equivalent to equivalent to 10 to the power 6 so this value could be written as 1 into 10 is to power 6 or 10 into 10 is to power 5 right right 1 into 10 is to power 6 or 10 into 10 raised to power 5 right so the first digit as you can see is a 1 and the second digit is 0 the multiplier here is 10 raised to power 5 this is the first digit the second digit is the multiplier right third band now as for the chart 1 corresponds to brown 0 to black and the multiplier 10 raised to power 5 corresponds to green let's have a look 1 corresponds to brown so let's write down the brown 0 black write down the black 10 is to power 5 is equal to green right 5 five zeros green so brown black and green that's it so you're done you're good